Hey everybody, welcome back to Appify Your Business. I received a question from Muhammad that was asking basically about how to create a reports dashboard where you can dynamically select from different types of fields or different tables and all that stuff. First, let's talk about, you know, essentially what Muhammad's looking for here is more of an analytics type tool, right? So AppSheet's great for making applications displaying data in a controlled fashion as the app creator you're able to you know basically set up applications that present data and control the data flow from ingestion into your, your data source and obviously set up any automations that you would want that app to process against that data however when you start to get into the realm of creating reports and opening it up for users to be able to manipulate the data, choose what fields they want. AppSheet's not really going to be a good tool for that. And you want an analytics tool um, to basically connect to your data source to be able to allow that functionality for, for people. So a good Google tool already, since AppSheet's a Google tool, I imagine most people are using Google Workspace, uh, but Google has a data studio. Uh, it's called datastudio.google.com. And this basically allows you to create very rich dashboards and reports that you can then share with uh, people for them to, in a read-only manner, manipulate that data. And there are other tools as well, such as Looker, Tableau, or Power BI on the Microsoft side. But, you know, Data Studio is great because it's free. It, it's basically use it without any needing to pay for anything. So this is why I'm recommending Data Studio, just because one, there's no additional cost for using Data Studio. And second is there's a built-in integration with AppSheet already um, that I'm going to show you here. So you're able to actually use Data Studio to connect to your data model that you've set up in your app to expand this functionality and create this more robust uh, reporting option for people. So I'm going to demonstrate how, you know, it's fairly straightforward to get this set up. Basically, I have, I'm going to just use this very simple task manager app. There's nothing too complicated about it. I just have a couple tables here, tasks and projects. And so all you need to do is, is have an app, right, that you want to connect to Data Studio. And then you'd go to datastudio.google.com and we're going to create a new blank report. And in once we arrive in the, the editor, we'll have this pop-up for connectors. And down below, you'll see AppSheet as a, an option. And we're going to click that. And um, you'll need to authorize it. There'll be a couple of authorization prompts. Um, so that's not showing here, but just be aware that you'll authorize access to AppSheet. And then once you've authorized access, then you'll see the ability to choose your application that you would want to use. So right here, I, I see task manager as an option and I'm going to choose next. And then I will have the option to choose a table that I want to add to my app. I'm just going to choose my main task table. Then after I hit next. And then once we have those defined, we'll go ahead and add that data source to our data studio report. And there'll be a warning here. Um, I'll probably check on do not show this again. And then we'll click add to report. So we can give the report a name. So by default, you'll see that data studio adds a table already um, for your data, but you could always modify it, right? So, and you could add new views by clicking add chart. So you see there's a lot of different options here. You have tables, scorecards, time series, charts, pie charts, um, even maps and stuff like that you can display. Um, so I'm going to just insert also a pie chart as an example. So once we've added a couple charts that we wanna show, uh, we'll go ahead and, and click the table now and edit uh, this table. So. You'll see that in the side menu there, there's the chart settings. So we'll first want to, for any of our views, define if we have dates involved, which we do for this because it's a, a task. But we'll find a 
date range dimension that we want to define. And this comes in handy for some controls we'll add later to our chart. But there's also um, our dimension section that we'll want to focus on. This is where we actually add um, more columns to our chart to show. So we're going to add some things such as the task name, and then we'll remove task ID. And the metrics here basically allow you to calculate um, sums or averages, variance, standard deviations on drill down records. So if we were to turn this these dimensions into a drill down option, we can basically aggregate and compute values um, based off of the you know dimension. If we were to make status, for example, a high level, then um, we'll see that now it's grouped by status and we have you know, some percent complete that's being computed across all the records that have a status. So um, I would encourage everyone to kind of explore the different functionalities here um, in here. But um, yeah, this is basically how you would set up a table or even coming down here to a pie chart. You can do the same thing where you basically define um, your dimensions that you're looking to organize your chart on. So we'll want to, you know, basically have the dimension is going to be status. If we're going to do a status pie chart and your uh, metric will be your task ID, where you're basically measuring the status for every task ID. That's another way to kind of think about the differences between this dimension and metric itself. Dimensions more of the what field you're grouping it on. And the metric is what items are you counting essentially and what are the unique items now that we have these couple charts here we want to add another layer into this reports which is obviously going to be you know the benefit to using data studio over app sheet specifically and that's these controls where we can add drop down lists maybe a date range control it's, it's basically pretty explanatory at this point. You could then filter off of these fields and your table and your charts will change as well. Or you could do a combination of a date range. So there's, there's basically year to date that you can auto set and apply to your, your data here. I'm going to turn off this drill down here for this table. So you can see that, you know, I don't have any statuses selected and I am pulling all the tasks in a certain date range. These are just all really quick examples, but um, I think there's a lot of a lot of power. And I wouldn't, um, and this is why I recommend Data Studio. It's just overall going to be easier for a more reporting type displays. And then you get the added benefit of you're not having to redefine your data model because the two are actually integrated together. So you want to use the best tool for the job and data studio is going to be your better option for reports. And then once you're ready to share, it's as easy as hitting the share button and allowing people to view or even be able to edit uh, the report as well. This is what the users would see when you click the view button, you basically give them a link and they can then interact with that data. And, you know, you could also integrate link sharing, right? So you could actually just build in a link into your app sheet app to take users to this reporting tool. And then the app sheet team has also posted in the community as well that there'll be additional deeper levels of data studio integration with app sheet uh, in the future as well. So I'd keep a lookout for that. Um, there'd be, there could be some additional cool stuff coming to make the, um, it worthwhile to, to learn data studio especially if you have a solution that requires some deeper level reporting and more complex analytics that needs to be run on your data. So with that, um, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about this in the comments below. Thanks everybody for watching and have a good one.